How do you define strength? Strength, to me, honestly, is defined by a guy like Derek Lewis. This man fought from the pits of hell to build himself back up to this point. Yeah. To me, that's strength. Who's that there on your TV? DC. It's you. still a horrible nickname, uh, I maintain, but you can follow him, of course, at <laughs> DC underscore MMA. He is fighting against Derek Lewis, whose nickname I'm not allowed to say. As a what? The no, black, you're not. Yeah, no, I'm not. Do, do you think that's just a get? Okay, well, for Daniel Cormier, for people who don't there know, thanks is, for being back, yeah. sir. Thank you for having me again, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, especially after you stiffed us the last time. If you were not the baddest man on the planet, I would be upset. <laughs> you could be upset, but instead of Crowder confronts, it would be Cormier confronts Crowder. Yeah. It would be pleasant. <laughs> It'd be more like Cormier beats Crowder's ass as he curls up into fetal <laughs> position. Uh, no, you know, mine is ideologically confronting, and yours is, you know, you beat people up. Um, so you have a, a career afoot in broadcasting. Are you hanging up the gloves still, March? Are you? Is that is that set in stone? Yeah, the date is still the same. I'm not. I'm looking to fight this time, and then hopefully fight Brock Lesnar beginning of the next year, and then that'll probably be it. I mean, I just don't want to be that guy that goes out on his back, man. We've seen so many of our great champions uh, that had all these shining examples, these moments that are etched in our minds forever, but they stay too long, right. and by the time it's over. They're getting beat by people they never would have gotten beat before. So yeah. um, it's I don't want to be that guy. I want to I want to leave uh, people with the memories that I I I, I have had um, up to this point. Right. Let me let me ask you this. You you see you were really tense at one point in your career. I think kind of in that that period where you've talked about how you really felt you had something to prove and you really didn't like John Jones. And then you couldn't get back at him because of all the drug controversies. We seem to see a relaxed, really happy Daniel Cormier. Lately. I know you're generally a, a, are seen as an affable guy, but to yeah. me, it's noticeable. Let me ask you: is is there some kind of a, a, a corner you've turned, or is it just because you you keep winning? Like, do you think you can maintain this demeanor and this calmness if you were to lose, or do you think it's just victory makes you so? No, it's just who I am, and also Steve, me not having to cut all the weight. I know, I'm sure it helps, well, I, but you do seem much more relaxed. To rephrase it, you seem more relaxed all the weight, than, Steve. than what was that? Oh, wait. It's not cutting all the weight. Oh. I, you know, I'm fighting up at heavyweight now, so I'm not losing 45 pounds to get to the fight. You know what I mean? And also, just really being content with everything that I've accomplished in this sport. I mean, win or lose this weekend, which I won't, you can't take away what happened in July, right? Those right. images of me with two belts will always remain the same. That's true. And I think there's a comfort in that. There's a comfort in the accomplishment. And I know that even though I'm comfortable in the accomplishment, I'm not ready to let it go. But I am who I am, and that'll never change. People can't take anything away from me anymore. Final question. Obviously, the fight, um, I want to make sure it's a black beast. Derek Lewis, it is happening November 2nd, UFC 230. Yeah. Let me ask you this. We were talking about this. We had Boss Room 9. November 3rd. No, what did I say? Did I say 2nd? Sorry, I meant to say November. You said 2nd. That's Friday, Friday the 2nd start of weigh-ins. The third is the actual fight for Madison Square Garden. I am terrible with numbers. Yeah. Fights are always Saturday, unless I think sometimes if they're in different countries, time zones. Let's not get technical. Yes. It's November 3rd, UFC 230. To Daniel Cormier, best fighter on the face of the planet right now before you leave, how do you define strength? What do you think matters most, particularly for a lot of young men listening? I like the mental, you know, honestly, man. And, and I think, and this might be like, oh, we don't want to hear this about fight promotion. But I think strength to me, honestly, is defined by a guy like Derek Lewis. You know, uh, when Derek Lewis was a teen, he left Louisiana down to Texas and got in a ton of trouble, ended up in prison. Now, you know that when you go to prison, there are guys in there every night saying what they're going to do when they get out and how they're going to be better when they get out. And they'll never go back and I'm going to make a life for my family. And they write these notes and they do all these things as to how life is going to improve. Mm -hmm. but then they end up back in prison. Recidivism rate right is right, yeah. Recidivism rate is, is through the roof. Derek Lewis never went back. Derek Lewis became a millionaire. Derek Lewis is fighting for the heavyweight championship of the world. That's why when people say, how hey, you knock that guy out with 10 seconds? I'm like, 10 seconds, that, that doesn't surprise me because this man fought from the pits of hell to build himself back up to this point. Yeah. To me, that's strength, right? When you are dealt with unbelievable adversity, and in the face of that adversity, you don't crumble. You try to build back. When I lost my daughter and life tried to knock me down and put me out for the count, I tried to rebuild myself. 
when a person goes through these terrible tragedies that are going on today, the families of these people that are dying in these mass shootings are dying when someone decides to drive their car into a crowd of people. These families that scrape themselves off the ground and rebuild that strength yeah. when you're dealt unbelievable adversity and you come through it and become better for it. That is what defines strength to me. It's think- not about lifting something up. It's not about uh, when everything's going good, you're, you're the champion and everything. It's about when stuff gets bad, how do you change it? Yeah. That's why, that's what I feel strength is. And that's why I respect the guy that I'm fighting on Saturday. Well, I think that's a very gracious answer. Uh, I think it's very accurate of the black piece. But I would add one to a comp because I'll give you a pat in the back. I also think equally as important is when someone does have great power. It doesn't mean there is an adversity, but when someone has made it through the adversity, how they wield it, what they do with it. You've been a class act as a champion, and that means a lot as well. That fight is happening November second, a uh, third. I was, third. I just, I was third. saying in my mind, don't say second, don't say second, don't say second, and I said second. Hey there, YouTube here. If you like this video, watch another one of our videos or subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Those don't really mean anything anymore today in YouTube. I would say hit a like with a thumbs up, but that might be gone, or comment below, but that most likely will be censored. So bookmark the page. Of course, if you're using Google Chrome, they'll find a way to f*** with your bookmark. So just join up at lottowithcredit.com slash mug club. That's lottowithcredit.com slash mug club. You get a hand-etched mug and you get access to the full daily one-hour show and you're not beholden to Susan Wojcicki slash Clint Howard.